Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of our hard powered inspirational interviews. And like every time, we have an amazing guest with us, a really a great friend of mine who knows how to bring color into our life and our business in amazing ways. Who is he? Well, his name is David Martin. And David is a Canadian teacher, writer, and painter. And he gave an incredible TEDx speech last year as well. And uh, so he is a public speaking coach and a TEDx coach. He created a concept that he calls Speak the Rainbow. And I think the title itself is a sweet promise in itself. And uh, this Speak the Rainbow is an incredible communication tool. Well, I've been a speaker for more than 20 years and I haven't seen anything like it. You definitely want to check it out because this is really an amazing tool to help you visualize how great speeches can be written and performed and delivered and uh, how to improve communication quickly. So it's not only for speakers, it's really, you can use it in any kind of communication. If you speak to your team or your clients or anyone else, it's a really powerful tool. And uh, by using this, this rainbow concept, you really make sure that your messages get clearer and uh, you can really connect with your audience in a greater way. So David, I'm a big fan of yours and your speak to rainbow concept. And uh, it's wonderful to have you with us today. Thank you, Monique. I could listen to you for hours talking about my rainbow such a nice way <laughs> yeah. and really selling the concept even better than I can sell it myself. That's <laughs> an added bonus here. Thank you. Great. So yeah, it's great to be here with the Heart Powered Nation or the tribe or the community. And uh, yeah, I feel the heart uh, energy uh, when you speak. And uh, as I share the rainbow concept, that's exactly what I want to to let other people be able to do, yeah. Great, beautiful. So why don't we jump right into it? And I know you inspire and give really great hints and tips to everyone here because uh, a lot of us are entrepreneurs and speakers and we want to get our message out in even greater ways. But let's jump right in with the question, what do you actually right now, I know it's not an easy time, um, what do you, uh, David, do right now to stay positive and vibrant. You know, I've always seen you love and smile and you always have this positive, amazing energy around you. What do you do right now to stay positive, vibrant, and as we call it, in the vortex at the moment? Uh, well, I'm, I'm lucky to have a sunny apartment. That's number one, to have a sunny apartment with a few plants uh, on the balcony. So that does give me a little bit of time to get out there and get a bit of sunshine into my body, which is necessary each day. I went out for a run this morning very early before the, the, my work this morning at nine o'clock. So I was out at a run at eight in the morning. So that was very chilly, but it got my energy going because I knew I needed good energy to talk to you today. So I said, how am I going to get in the vortex from Monique's uh, interview? So a good run, boost the energy, of course. And I'm doing a lot of drawing at the moment because I have a lot of time when I'm not on Zoom. So I'm drawing each day. That's an old hobby of mine, but it's nice to connect with those old hobbies and use colors and pastels and paint and mess about with colors. That's what I like doing and it brings up my energy as well. And then also sharing with people on uh, social media, which has actually been full of humor and laughter and uh, jokes. I can't believe the amazing things that circulate in some tribes that I'm connected with. With uh, uh, just, I mean, it's astounding the humorous aspects that come out. And uh, as I did stand up comedy, I, all respect for anybody who's putting comedy out there at the moment because it's not easy. And uh, there's some very talented people doing it. So yeah. that's how I stay positive. I love it. And I see this beautiful, colorful picture behind you. Is that one of yours, David? Yeah, I painted that about a year ago. It's actually a picture of my partner who uh, was at a baptism. And uh, I just thought she had such a connection with that baby. And uh, I wanted to put her in a painting. And then I, I drew this heart image. And I wanted to put both images because I, she has such a big heart. And so uh, that's what happened. I put both images together. and. Uh, uh, I thought it radiated today for this interview, so I put it on the wall. It's not usually there, it's actually in another part of the apartment, but I thought it would look great for the interview because it's the heart connection with my partner as well. Beautiful, and uh, I love the picture, I love the color, I love the expression, and uh, I know you combine actually three of your passions. One is art, 
you know, and colors. One is uh, your, your heart for people and sharing with them and teaching. And then there's a big heart for speaking as well. So this is why you run a business, um, you know, being a speaker coach and, and TEDx coach. So um, what, what do you do right now? Um, you know, is your apartment bound? <laughs> you know, what do you do right now to really turn the current challenges into opportunities for your business and for others? Well, actually, I'm, I'm just amazed at how busy I can be online, <laughs> making connections in different networks. That's something that's really come out in the last month is the, the surprising different, I don't know, just feelings that this would be interesting for me. And I went in that direction and, uh, and a few weeks ago, uh, I ha was invited to a free, free thing Sunday morning with uh, somebody I know through old family connections who runs a, a big uh, storytelling training company in London called uh, Narrative. And I'd always wanted to go to one of their workshops, but I'd never got the money or the time to go to London to actually do the physical workshop. So she was doing one on Sunday mornings and I did it virtually and it was amazing and uh, so th and then she just wrote back to me this afternoon and said when are you coming back to another one so uh, uh, that you know making connections like that that we couldn't do physically now we can do virtually i was on a talk on jitsi the other day i heard about that network and uh, it's like zoom or skype or teams or there are so many things that we're using go to meeting i was on go to meeting last night uh, last week, I was connecting with Toastmasters in Rome uh, on a Zoom chat, which was an amazing experience. They contacted me in the afternoon and asked me if I wanted to join. So everywhere I'm joining in somewhere with different people, different networks. And I think that's really going to help later down the road when you make those connections today. People are going to remember that uh, when, when we go forward. People will remember the connections you make today, the the the. I had a chat today with somebody in the middle of the afternoon by telephone and, and we talked about things. Some of it was not really important, but she's putting out a, uh, an ebook on uh, Zoom meetings and she wanted my feedback. So I gave her some and she's going to link me to the ebook and then put it out there with all my contact details. So, so just those connections that we can make and help other people as they go forward with their projects. Uh, I think it's amazing. And uh, yeah, I did another workshop with people from all over Europe uh, on, uh, uh, led by somebody in San Francisco. So I'm just opened up to crazy networks in the last two or three weeks. So, and this one as well, <laughs> the heart powered community, great idea. And I really support it fully. Yeah. And uh, you know, often, as you said, I mean, these opportunities to get your message out there to share, uh, you know, your amazing insights and your method um, is often coming from community connections, right? So, uh, and all of you, by the way, everyone that's here with us today, uh, watching us, um, hopefully we are doing a good job in inspiring you and giving you some hints and tips today. Um, all of you are wholeheartedly invited, if you're not part of us in, uh, yet, of our heart powered global nations community. So we're gonna put the link towards the end of the, uh, the interview out there. If you're not a member yet, join us. It's a community of, as we say, hard powered, uh, like-minded entrepreneurs, change makers, business leaders, speakers, and everyone that has a mission to really create a positive shift and difference. And uh, I know that you're one of our appreciated members, David, and you recommended it to quite a few of your friends. Uh, what, what, you know, what, uh, what value do you find in these, you know, in, in our community specifically, and also in other communities? Um, besides connecting with people that then give you the opportunity to bring your message out. What, what are the greatest benefits of being part of our hard power, the global nation? Well, the, the benefit is it, it keeps you away from any negative uh, that can creep into your life because we can always get into the vacuum of uh, following the news or following the bad uh, uh, stories that can uh, generate fear and things like that. And when I look into my networks on social media, I'm just astounded at uh, how positive they all are. And uh, uh, I never run across anything negative or political or so. So just this sort of communities and being uh, connected to people who are doing amazing things and learning from them is, is totally possible. And uh, it's something that 
I don't see any of the negative ever get into my life because I spend my time in, in communities like this one and, uh, and uh, other ones which are similar, but totally in, uh, in another part of the world. So, so you're sharing with people in Australia and, uh, and getting whole different perspectives on what's going on, so, or in India. And like this morning, I was texting somebody in India. So <laughs> connected everywhere, it's great. Yeah, this is also why we created this hot part and this is why we call it Global Nation because we bring people from all over the world together, right? To learn from each other, to grow with each other. So, um, David, from, you know, from what I understand, you, uh, you are getting your message out there, you're connecting with people, you're engaging in communities, all of that is great. Um, you also mentioned a friend's ebook. I do know, actually, I heard the whispers about your own ebook, right? You are actually right now taking the time um, where things are a little more quiet to also finish that off and share that with people, right? Why don't you tell us more about your, what you're doing around your ebook right now? Well, thank you, thank you, Monique. That's a, 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 my ebook is called "The Seven Keys to Colorful Connections" or "Colorful Communication." In fact, "Colorful Connections" is the whole idea of what I want to do as an artist, as a speaker, as a trainer, is to create those connections with people and and a connection going both ways from the person you're communicating to, uh, coming back to you as the speaker and not just speaking at people, but creating really those connections connections with the heart, connections with the soul, connecting on a level of joy and hope and uh, depth as well. So my seven keys are basically uh, around seven colors of the rainbow. That's why originally I called it Speak the Rainbow. And I put those keys into uh, an ebook where each one is about, I don't know, between five and 10 pages long not a very long ebook about 60 pages and now i'm actually sending it out to people quietly all over the world to get their feedback is it helpful what do i need to change to make it even power more powerful and not longer but shorter because i want to get it down to the essentials of what are the real keys to making those connections how do we connect and give people hope how do we connect and give people energy like you were talking about at the beginning? Some people have it. How do other people give it to others? Because one of the things is in this time is if we can give other people energy, it's one of the most generous things we can give. Uh, and I think, Monique, you do it so well. And just as soon as I get it, I'm not even in the room with you now, but I get your energy. So, <laughs> and I hope other people get my energy. And, and when I do speak on stage, everybody goes, oh, David, that was so much energy. Uh, but it's hard on a Zoom chat or a Skype chat to do that. So the, we need to keep thinking, how can we do that in the virtual world, giving people energy, giving people joy, uh, it's really a, a positive uh, energy of joy, just a smile. Yesterday I was thinking about uh, two years ago, I met some Aborigine uh, uh, sort of healers in Paris and one of them had the long didgeridoo and he actually blew it into my heart for about five minutes. It was an amazing experience, but his sister actually left me with an even stronger message and she said every morning, when she gets up, she puts a smile on her face and she, she holds it for 18 seconds until it goes into her heart. And she said that was like how she kept all day long. She centered a, a, a smile in her heart by just holding it for 18 seconds on her face and putting it into her heart. And she said, I can connect with it all day long after that. So I came across that a couple of days ago in my old journals and I said, wow, that's something I really need to do in this time. So I did it yesterday <laughs> and, and it, it works, you know, you can just try and center a nice smile in your heart. It'll stay with you all day long. So those I are little love it. Well, what a beautiful <laughs> what a beautiful concept and by the way all of you that are watching us right now i invite you tomorrow morning when you wake up do it right away right put a big smile onto your face think about how amazing this day is going to be and then hold it for 18 seconds and, until if you feel it in your heart what a beautiful gift david yeah. sorry i didn't want to interrupt you do you want to add no something? no that's that's those oh, okay. are the things i got out uh, 
got out my journals looking through because uh, sometimes when you're drawing uh, things come up and you say I was thinking about that before where what was I thinking about two years ago it's sort of like the Facebook timelines when things come back to you so you want to go back and say what were you thinking about and I've I came across that a couple of days ago and I thought wow that's a wonderful thing it's, to do in these times yeah it's amazing David so this is already a great suggestion in itself right I mean put a smile on your face and Hey, I mean, if you're already in the middle of the day right now, you can even try it right now. You can do it again and again, right? Try exactly. the day. David, I'd also love uh, us to every day, we, uh, we pick one thing and we take a suggestion from one of our amazing um, guests, just like you, um, where we say, what is one thing everyone that is here with us today that they can do and pay attention to today to really, you know, bring their life, their business, their emotions, their energy to the next level. And, and can I pick a color and you, you just pick the color and you make a suggestion on that color? Would that be okay? Uh, sure. Or, or do you have something, do you have something prepared that you want to give to everyone? <laughs> What I, I want to give is, uh, because we're doing a lot of Zoom and virtual chats and, and uh, getting really into learning those tools and the skills, to interact. And I've noticed that a lot of people don't use what I call a red emotion enough in their contact because they don't believe maybe that it's going to come through. But it does come through. Red emotions come through the computers by talking about real concrete sensor sensory details giving people really those things like I was walking on the sand and it was hot and I could feel that my my skin ripple through the the to the toes like this morning I was out running and my fingers were freezing and when I came back I put them under the water because I had to wash them for 20 seconds and and it was like they, they were totally alive and I was like my fingers are alive and it was those are sensory details things that we can feel and share with people we can do it through the virtual uh, world as well and those red emotions to taste and touch and smell and and uh, feelings by telling stories that have really details details that give those things don't forget them when you're on the virtual world that the communication that you're doing because you don't have to tell the whole story people just remember one little thing last week i was on a a call with people in Rome and the guy was talking about stuff that he had to do, stuff that he had to go out of his apartment for stuff. And I was like, what stuff do you do? Give us something and uh, give us a detail. Like when you wake up, you go on your cell phone or your smartphone and you look for the, the sports uh, report of the day and you're looking for football results and you can't find any and you're frustrated and because you love sports and there's no sports out there and you're craving for soccer or football or basketball results. So then we can see that stuff when you waste two hours doing that, then you realize, uh, but people remember that if you tell them something that they can remember and can, can grasp. So right. that, that's what I want more of in my stuff my stuff <laughs> there i did it <laughs> i try to think about how can i get that across not long stories but just little details little nuggets really sensory things unique things about yourself great so this is the one thing that you recommend everyone today to do to really bring emotions in color red it's perfect it's the color probably that i would have picked um so um and you like people to really put in concrete things, specific things that also trigger emotions, yes? Exactly, and okay. any emotion that can lead us to pleasure or away from pain. So like right. this morning, uh, I was out running, of course I could talk about the pleasure of running, but there I talked about the pain in my fingers after the washing them because they were cold and they were heat, uh, getting warm under the warm water. And the, uh, so there was pain. So pain will connect as well. So, and we, but we don't want to give too much, but if we right. can give a little detail, uh, it'll be memorable. And that way yeah. you'll come across memorable. So we're going to do it in the following way, as I suggest. Uh, everyone that wants to play today, share a little story with us today in our hard-powered global nation and bring in specifics that make us feel something positive. Okay, so I, I look forward to actually a shower of positive stories today from <laughs> all of you. 
Thank you, David. It's been amazing to have you with us today. I know probably a lot, a lot of uh, uh, everyone that's here with us today would love to get a hand on the ebook when it's coming out. And by the way, I love how you're saying you're sending the ebook out to people to get some feedback. That's what I always, uh, you know, share with my clients. I always say co-create a product together with your clients. So I know everyone here would probably love to have a copy and give you some feedback. Uh, or connect with you, learn more about your Speak to Rainbow method. How can they connect with you? Where can they find you? Sure. If anybody wants in this community, they want to read it, I can send it to them and uh, they can discover the seven keys to colorful communication. Yeah, that's no problem. I can send it in the PDF version. As anybody wants to reach out to me can have a copy. Yeah, and just I before I go, chapter and it's amazing, guys. You definitely, if you want to improve and bring your speaking forward and your business and your communications, you don't want to miss it. Sorry, yeah. David. Just show you my painting of my a oh. couple of years ago. Put the heart of your communication. If you have the heart in the center of your communication, your message will radiate. That's what my message is today. Put yeah. the heart at the center of everything you want to do. I love it. Okay. Thank you so much, David, for being with us today. Thank you all for being with us. Um, again, if you're not part of our Heart Powered Global Nation yet, come and join us right away and keep an eye out. We're going to come back with another episode of our Heart Powered Inspirational Interviews very soon. Thank you, David, for being here with us. Thank you all for checking in and being loyal and, you know, just being with us on a regular basis. We love you. We appreciate you. We definitely hold you in our heart. And uh, so have a wonderful day. See you soon and see you in our Heart Power Global Nation as well. All the best. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>